In this video, I want to show you the open code for a six-figure swing trade short selling strategy for the NASDAQ futures. We go over several different options to reduce the drawdown. And you can see what this has done. There's only been 26 trades since mid-November. And I've set it up so it won't trade before mid-November because it's not profitable prior to mid-November. So keep that in mind. 26 trades since mid-November. The trend is down and it's profitable since mid-November but not before so here is the equity curve I'm going to show you the code for this and this is ideal because what we're, it's real simple all we're doing is the close is greater than the highest close of the last three bars we sell short this bar on the close extremely simple rule set and we put in this date greater than 11 15 20 21 because it does not work with this basic rule set um, it's possible to put in additional filters for the trend and make it flat or work before that time frame. But we're trading this in a bear market and I developed it just last week before this trade right here that was a short loser. And you can see the current trade is in open position that is a short winner. So there are several different ways you could trade this. You could trade this with the NASDAQ. You could trade with this with the micro. If you trade with this with the micro, your everything is one tenth of what you see here. It'd be about ten thousand dollars in total net profit. Still twenty six trades. Your average trade probably be about three ninety one. Your drawdown would be about two thousand. And this is using a five thousand dollar stop loss, five hundred per micro, or twenty five thousand dollar profit target, or twenty five hundred per micro. And you know if the trend turns up, it may not work anymore. Uh, but I've added this rule right here so it doesn't take more. You know, it's four or five days. We get out on the close. And the reason I did this is for options. So you could sell the calls or you could buy the puts that are about to expire and buy some cheap puts um, on a market that rallied. So ideally, you know, if, if the market's going up, if you're buying puts here, you're going to have a little bit of a losing streak. There's about four. Uh, max consecutive losing trades was four. So you're buying puts and lose, buy puts, lose, buy puts, lose. And then you have a big trade here. Um, you could also let this run. You could buy your puts further out and let it run. Um, you could get rid of this rule and see what it looks like. I'm going to show you some different ways to trade this and see what the stats are. So if you get rid of that rule, you're, you're just a little bit more profitable. Not a lot. You only have 15 trades. Uh, but your winners are much bigger. Your profit factor goes to 3.33. And one of the things we've done in our algos is, is um, you know, our algos, uh, we would like to hold positions longer. We've talked about how the trend is at night. And so a multi-day swing trade allows you to take this trade. If you're nervous about trading futures, you could trade the options. Your risk will be limited to the price of the put that you, if you went uh, long a put just below the market, uh, finding the right put combination could be tricky. You could buy a put spread, a debit spread, buy a put, and then uh, sell a further put, uh, further out of the money put. And so this uses a $25,000 profit target, and it actually, even with a four, even with getting out in four days, it gets there on the NASDAQ. So if you look at this, um, the largest winning trade in this case is still $25,000. So you could get a huge gain. You could buy some uh, extremely uh, cheap puts after the market rallied three days with four or five days till expiration. You buy the puts down here, and then if it rolls over, um, you could sell the calls, and then uh, as well, different, uh, different option strategies. It's more discretionary when you use options because you have different strike prices. Um, market can be at different levels of volatility uh, when this happens, but typically when the market rallies, volatility shrinks and it makes the puts less expensive. So it's ideal to for this type of market environment, and that's one of the reasons why I developed this strategy for some potential put options using the futures market as a framework to trade options more on a discretionary basis. So um, some other things you can do with this is you could say well, what happens if I just have a smaller profit target now I want you to see what happens I haven't verified that yet but this is 509 net profit as a percentage drawdown 101,000 
a $20,000 drawdown, so about 500%. And when I verify this with a $5,000 uh, profit target, this drawdown gets cut in half, and this goes up actually. So you could take a uh, smaller duration time frame uh, price uh, price profit target in a closer proximity uh, for those that don't like to take on longer trades, trades that last longer. If there's more volatility in your account. You see the equ equity curve is straighter when you have this versus a $25,000. Let's do the $25,000. So there is more there is more wiggle in your equity curve with a bigger profit target. You have the opportunity to make bigger gains, but uh, the return over drawdown does pretty well uh, with a five thousand dollar drawdown. Let's see, and, you know, in Nasdaq Nasdaq options they they expire on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. They, every couple of days you can get uh, some options, and this is what it looks like with a three days. Let's look at it with two days. So pretty good, uh, pretty good to see a, a two-day window work so well. You can get some options out of the money, buy some puts below the market, and potentially profit from this strategy. I will be putting this in my easy language members area on the website, so you'll have access to this. It's for members, but if you are not a member, you can become a member. So you simply go to capstonetradingsystems.com. And you scroll down, Capstone Trading, YouTube, Easy Language Examples. You can view this. You can go over all our Easy Language Examples. And I will be uploading this one so you can download it directly. You can you could pause the video and type it in manually if you want. Um, but also have the TradeStation Training and FAQ members area for automation techniques. We are mainly day traders. And the focus is day trading short-term strategies. This one doesn't really fit well in a portfolio combination, but could be traded separately and describes what we were talking about, how the markets have been more difficult to trade on a day trade basis, the short side. A lot of it is overnight, and the day trade session has been short. Today is an exception to that, and the trades are going well on the short side. I'll have more about that in the daily report. Be sure you subscribe to this channel so you can get more details on short-term trading systems in the futures markets. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks. We share our losing streaks as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.